Hey guys, Cheesy Poof here, and I know we got a special opening to do today. It's going to be a Mezco figure, um, but it's not South Park. So what we have here is Earthworm Jim. Earthworm Jim, the soil he did crawl. Earthworm Jim, a super suit did fall. Yeah. So, Earthworm Jim, if you don't know, is one of those awesome Super Nintendo Sega Genesis uh, video game stars. They also had his own series, cartoon-wise. Um, you know that I have the entire series of those figures as well. But, 2012, for some reason, they decided, you know what? We need to make a new Earthworm Jim figure. And it looks as great as it sounds. <laughs> um, so there's a little bit of the bio right there if you wanted to learn a little bit more about our dirt-eating pal. He was just a normal earthworm, and he got into a super suit, and that's what changed his whole life. So you can see, it's pretty sick right there. The amount of detail compared to the old ones, of course, is like looking at the original Ninja Turtle figures, and then looking at some of those customs that have come out over the years. That It's just, first, a very, very good sculpt. And then the paint job is really awesome as well. You can see it's got fine little details. Anything that you see as a shadow um, is mixed with a shadow and then also different paint colors. So it's got a lot of light blue on there. He comes with his trusty blaster and then another version of himself because unlike those old figures, I don't think his head comes out of the package. But what's great about this one, unlike some of those quick looks that I've done, is... I really want to open it. So I got another version that I can hang on the wall. So this one is going to be the one that we're all going to get to see. So, oh joy. All right. So we're just going to bust through the package right here. It's so pretty, of course. It, it does pain me a little bit to open him since he's looked so good on the package there. But that's why I got an extra of him. So I'll go ahead and pull it out so you can already see a little bit better the details that I put in place without that plastic in the way. So I'm going to go ahead and pull him out of the package. He's got those nice little tabs that we've become used to over the, over the years. These little twisty tabs. It is really funny because I know I haven't done this for the most part in a good amount of years. but. As a kid, as part of the fun, it almost seemed like, oh, come on, hurry up, hurry up. I need to get this figure out. He's got him on his hands and his legs. So speaking of older games, though, uh, I have been playing a lot more of the games that have come out a while back instead of the newer ones. Uh, I just finished Okami on the Wii, which also came out on the PS2. There's another one over here. And finally started up Epic Mickey, so I know it's not original old school, old school. And if you want to go back to Super Nintendo days, I'd literally just beat Ninja Turtles in time again last night. On the Super NES. rubber band holding him in. Alright. So here is Earthworm Jim in all his glory. So he's got a lot more movable parts and of course we had way back in the day his hands rotate independently. Was it just yep, both hands do. So you can see they got that full three sixty degrees. He turns right there on his hips, but the way his legs are so tiny, they of course do not move. There's his little holster, although you can definitely tell that he's not going to be holding his gun in there. And then there's his face, so you can see the detail on there. He's just staring away like, what are you looking at? As if he's about to start something. Garoovy! As he would love to say. And he's got his trusty backpack. So, of course, I always remember snot being in there. 
You can see the eye even looks on the background like, hey, what are you looking at? <laughs> um, but the amount of detail on there is, is pretty awesome. So, of course, he's got a good amount of articulation as well. But we're going to get his little blaster in his hand. And he's even got that perfect little spot right there for the trigger. So they really went out of their way thinking about it. But there you go. So there's Mezco's 2012 version of Earthworm Jim out of the package and straight to you guys. And you can also see the other version of him. I'll pull him out right now. So it's one of those bendy figures. Um, so you can basically make Earthworm do whatever you want. If you played the games back in the day, of course you know that he used his head as a whip and all sorts of things like that. Even the top part of his head feels squishy. Uh, in all honesty, but the paint job is still very amazing. You can see he's he's got those little twitch faces that he has, those green eyes. So of course the top part doesn't bend, but you can make this figure do whatever you want, like he's walking, trying to find the suit once he's been out of it and all that fun stuff. It's still a little bit bendable on the head but the material is different you can see completely bendable in this one you have to push a little bit and it's more the hard plastic um, but he's got that little ball joint in there so you know his head's not going anywhere but at least he comes with a little extra gym that's it for this time hope you guys enjoyed and I'll see you later